What chance does the Washington Commanders have in beating the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles? Well, let's go over some strengths and weaknesses of the Eagles, and, uh, well, let's just see how the Commanders can attack those strengths and weaknesses. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. If you're new here, thank you for stumbling across this channel. Um, I try to put out videos on a daily basis th throughout the week, if possible. And um, if you're also a returning visitor, uh, thank you for joining us. Everybody, if you could, please consider subscribing to this channel. I need your subscriptions. Make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure you watch the videos, pass the videos along, share them to your buddies, whatever. And with that said, let's get into today's video because tonight we have a game against the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles. It's an NFC East division rival game. <clears throat> and, you know, the Eagles... They're trying for 9-0, and and, you know, this is not the same Washington team that they beat earlier in the season, so that, that is the good news. So, there has to be some weaknesses to this 9-0, and or I don't want to overstep, 8-0 Philadelphia Eagles team, right? So, the Eagles have been subpar against the run this year. They, they rank 29th in the league against the run. It also didn't help that Jordan Davis went down with a high ankle sprain to make it even more difficult for the Eagles to defend against the run. So if you're Scott Turner, you, you need to control the offense, right? You need to control the clock. So you need a heavy dose of the one-two punch, a Brian Robertson and Antonio Gibson, you need to keep that high-powered Philadelphia Eagles offense sitting on the bench. The Eagles, they have a lot of strengths, right? For one thing, they're well-rested. Their last game was Thursday night, and it was like two weeks ago, it seems like. They had a bye week. Now, you know, their first game back, they're playing at home on Monday night football. So they have had a long rest. They're loaded on offense, and Jalen Hurts, right now he's playing out of his mind. But, you know, Washington's defense has greatly improved since their first meeting. The defensive line, I mean, they're starting to kind of slowly get back to that 2020 form, minus Chase Young, of course. And we're probably not going to see Chase Young on Monday night, so let, let's not even go there. Um, you know, I hate that, but... Let's let him be 100%, right? Still, Washington hasn't faced mobile quarterbacks in the last few weeks. You know, Washington has been on a win streak until the Vikings snapped that win streak last week. But all the, the teams that they have beaten have pretty much been from quarterbacks who are not known for the mobility first. Jalen Hurts... Mobility first, that's going to cause some havoc. This is why I believe Washington needs to play ball-controlled football on offense. They need to control the clock. They need to keep the Eagles' offense off the field as much as they possibly can. Now, now as far as offense goes for the commanders, Taylor Heineke, he has got to be smart with the football. He can't afford to throw the untimely, costly interceptions that he's been doing in the last couple of weeks. He's got to get the ball to his playmakers. I mean, that's a given. But he can't force them. He can't force those impossible passes. He's got to take what the defense gives him. And he's got to look for the open receivers, too. He's got to anticipate the receivers getting open, but he can't force the football. He's going to be getting John Dotson back, which is going to be a big plus for the offense. That's going to give him another weapon opposite of Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel. But still, Scott Turner himself, he has got to play a smart game, and he has not been a great play caller for the Washington Commanders this year. It, I mean, it's been less than stellar, and he is, he is 
thrown in some boneheaded plays there. Uh, so I think the keys to this game, honestly, you need to just get back to the basics. Running the football, playing hard-nosed NFC East football. Pound the rock, wear the Eagles' defense down before they have a chance to wear your defense down. Don't defer the football in the first half, right? You know, coin toss, you win coin toss. I think it's important that Washington takes the ball first because they haven't been that successful deferring the football in the second half anyway. And I think you need that first crack on offense to slow the game down, to slow the pace down, to control the clock, to limit the amount of possessions that the Eagles have on offense. That is the key, I think, to beating the Eagles. And if the Eagles get the ball, they're going to they're going to score. You can't afford to get down early against Philadelphia Eagles. And Washington's been known to get down early against a lot of teams. So you need to make sure that you get the ball first and you do something with the ball. You don't just go over there and have a three and out, punt the ball, and that's it. I mean, the Eagles, they're going to move the ball on you. There's not a lot you can do about that. They're going to run the ball. They're going to be able to pass the ball. They're going to move the football at will. So you might as well sit back in kind of a zone play maybe man when you get close to the red zone but you need to force the eagles into a field goal attempts and keep them out of the end zone you know bend bend but don't break right i mean the eagles are going to score but if you limit them to field goals rather than touchdowns i think you have a chance now in the fourth quarter let's keep it close i think if the ball game is close in fourth quarter that favors the commanders Heineke will gain confidence as the game flows, but you got to keep him in check, like I said. Got to make sure he doesn't take any unnecessary risks. Folks, this is a big game for the Commanders. They lose this game. I mean, the season's pretty much shot, I believe, at this point. I really do. Uh, I mean, you're you're 0-3 in the division. You're 4-6, you know, on, on the season. Yeah, I mean, things are not done yet, but things are getting close to being done. Now, they win this game. It could ignite a big, long win streak. You know, possibly one that puts them into playoff contentions. (laughs) But a lot is definitely riding on this game on Monday night. A, A lot. A lot. I think it's going to be a good game. I think we're going to see... Some big plays. I think Taylor Heineke, I think he plays well in prime time. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.